Okay, welcome to the Broughton Lab at the University of Manchester. My name's Martin Gilley. I'm an academic here and a structural engineer. Uh, what we've got here are just a couple of examples of one concept that we have to think about in structural engineering when we're designing maybe skyscrapers or large buildings. Um, this also has relevance though to other areas of engineering. It's about resonance, so when your washing machine, for example, vibrates across the floor, many of the same concepts apply. So we'll start with this, this example here, which is a very simple conceptual example of what happens when you get oscillations in a structure. So if you take the weight on the, on the side here and just let it bob up and down, then it will keep doing that for a long time. Uh, there's not much stopping it. And you can imagine if, if that was a skyscraper shaking, then that would be an unfortunate effect. So as engineers, we have to try and stop that. And one, one approach to this is called a tuned mass damper. And this is the arrangement we've got on the right here, which is very similar, except on the bottom of the mass, we've got a smaller mass on a different spring. And so if I just stop that one and then run them both together. What you'll notice is, firstly, that the frequency of this one is much lower than that one, the rate at which it's oscillating. But also over time, the oscillations here are getting smaller, they're being damped out, whereas this one is keeping going. So this is a conceptual example of what's going on here. If you add a secondary smaller mass, then you'll tend to damp out oscillations. So that's the conceptual example. Stop that for now. This is applied directly in skyscrapers, and so we've got a bigger example here. And you can imagine we've got two skyscrapers. The one on this side has no tuned mass damper. The one on this side has a golf ball, which we'll call a tuned mass damper. And at the bottom here, we've got a table which will oscillate as if there was an earthquake. So I'll start that now. And there we go, it's shaking. And as you can see, the one without the mass damper is shaking pretty wildly, whereas the one with the mass damper is not really shaking at all. And so if these were full-scale earthquake, uh, full-scale structures in an earthquake, this one would be shaking itself to bits. The people in this one would maybe feel slightly seasick, but everything would be safe. 